as we are seeing, the, the monolithic chips are reaching a limit after which it is very hard to, to squeeze more and more knowledge into it. Mm -hmm. So rather, we, we can have smaller chiplets that can operate with each other. Cost-wise, it's more effective. Yield-wise, it's more effective. So there are a number of reasons. However, this is not new. We have seen MCMs in the past. We have seen system in package in the past, and so on. So, so this wave of single die versus multi-die, we saw it a few times already. But this time, we're very close to the limits of electronics. So, so I think this time, it's more real to happen. What's, what's needed is the, the supply chain. In order to have chiplets work with each other, of course, if they are from the same source, it's easier to handle. Uh, you control everything. You just split your content into multiple dice. But the real chiplet industry would happen when it becomes like IPs. Different vendors of different chiplets will pull their chiplets to the market, and then the consolidators will come and pull them together. So there'll be chiplet providers and chiplet users. So the providers need to put them in the market in various sources. We'll have supermarkets of chiplets, and then the consolidators will come and pull them together and, and create their new innovative designs out of them. For that to happen, the interoperability needs to be there. Mm -hmm. Interoperability not only functionally, but also making sure that the health mm -hmm. of the entity at the end, the multi-die entity, is proper, right? Uh, so not only the health of individual chiplets, but the communication between them, their reliability, their availability over the life cycle. Mm -hmm. So it's an important component for it to happen. Otherwise, it will break. Otherwise, if I just bring one chiplet from here and there, just they happen to talk to each other, it's not enough. Mm -hmm. They have to talk to each other and ensure the health of that in entity.